been talking about this race and preparing for it for months and months now, but actually now it feels pretty real. We're, we're actually going to do it and I'm excited in one way. I'm looking forward to sailing, you know, day after day. I love sailing and I'm looking forward to that and I'm slightly apprehensive obviously there's lots I don't know. Uh, we haven't actually sailed in much wind either together so that's all really unknown. So yeah this kind of mixture between excitement and, and a bit of apprehension. So I'm just putting the marks of the course into the B&G Zeus unit. It makes it real, but also it's really nice. The more I go through the course, the more orientated I am. So it really helps when I'm communicating with Shirley where we are and what's coming next. You know, I've got a reference and I know where we are on the course. I think it's actually exciting. It's been a really long journey. We started where we knew each other, but didn't know each other well and we didn't know how to sail together, how to communicate with each other, how to get the best from each other, and more importantly, having trust in each other. So that's been a journey alongside learning how to sail the boat competitively. So it's been a really interesting journey, but we're very different stepping on to the, where we are now, it's very different stepping onto the boat for the start of this event now. Um, right, okay, how many coffees do you think you'll have a day? Well. Maybe three or four. So Could let's have, cater three? for that rather than just take hundreds. No, I, I think I haven't got hundreds. They're just quite wrapped. <laughs> I didn't think we'd be restricting coffee. I mean, it doesn't really weigh anything. So slightly disappointed by that. Now coffee becomes not an essential, but a treat. We've had quite an interesting morning where my focus is on you know, what are we going to eat? How much do we need? And let's carry only what we need. Well, my favorite snack is, is chocolate. Uh, so it's, it's a little bit of compromise and I've said no a few times. Chocolate or freeze dried? There is no choice there. Chocolate every time. This race is a high attrition rate. So actually being able to circumnavigate and get back here to cows under our own steam is a win. But more than that, I really think we can do well. There's no reason why we couldn't. We sail the boat fast. We're good at making decisions. You know, if we do what we're good at, then you know, I'd hope that we'd be, yeah, we'd be near the front. You can't compare it as a race. Your preparation for each race is different and each race has its own challenges. And this is one of the toughest race tracks there is. You're always under pressure. Historically, you look at the course and the entrance, since it's been non-stop, 25 double-handed teams have started the race, but only nine teams have ever finished. So that alone is testament to how tough it is. I mean, you know, even that's quite hard, isn't it? That bit. Yeah, I think we need to look at it and, and stuff that is not much of a nod. I find that bit of coastline really hard. I think the reason the round Britain and Ireland race is so difficult is that you will get a bit of everything. You know, you know difficult breeze, you're going to have um, strong currents. Uh, it can be cold, remarkably cold around the top of the north. Um, and it's a difficult duration of race. It's not a sprint, so you've got to, you know, you've got to pace yourself. But at the same time, you know, you've, you can't afford to slack off at any, at any part of the race. You never know which bit's the crucial bit. I've not done a lot of offshore sailing with Shirley, but I think you know what she brings any boat is is keeping it going fast at all times. And and I have sailed offshore with Dee, and she's tough and and she's good at managing the boat. So I think you know potentially there are really good combinations of skills. They both bring very different skills uh, to the party. But don't forget, it's a double-handed race, so there's a lot of time when there's just one of them, presumably on deck. Good afternoon, ladies and gents. Thank you very much for coming to our briefing for the Seven Star Round Britain Island race. This is our fifth edition of the Seven Star Round Britain Island race. We believe it's one of the most challenging races that we do. You know, it's 1,800 miles of, you know, of strategy, changing winds, lots of corners. We are expecting quite high temperatures ashore, 26, 27, maybe 28. But we've got the tide and we should see some light sea breeze in the eastern Solent. So it will most likely be a light beat to get away from the, from the line and out through the eastern Solent. 
We've just had the final weather briefing. We start the race tomorrow and there is a massive high pressure sitting over everything. And I think in my head, I'd imagined our 3300 heeled over, lit up, eating up the miles. And that's not going to be the case, at least for the first week. This race is going to be frustrating. It's going to be slow. And Dee and I need to prepare ourselves for a long time at sea. Well, I was keen with Shirley and I coming together to gain from the from the process and I, I feel I've done that because Shirley's attention to detail and to not leave anything no stone unturned is incredible whereas I'm much bigger picture oh, it'll be fine we'll work it out and so it's it's made me re reassess detail which is really good but also just having confidence in each other and falling into our strengths on the boat so it's been a real learning curve and I think we're both in a much better position now heading into the ultimate race so that means that the training program was right. I am not in my element uh, offshore so you know I was initially really pretty nervous about it and I, and I still am but when I think about it you know sensibly and logically the boat is really very well prepared. It will look after us. We're ready for a lot of eventualities. Also, I have massive confidence in Dee now. I really feel like we're, we're a partnership. I've seen her really at her best. You know, when the going gets tough, she just gets better and better. And that's given me, that's given me real confidence, I think, that we can, you know, that we can do well, that we will be safe and, and that we'll enjoy it. I mean, it's what an adventure. Nearly two weeks doing something amazing. Um, it's going to be pretty special. I'm excited that start day is here. We don't really know what's going to happen, but it's going to be amazing. It's going to be unforgettable, and uh, it's like a once-in-a-lifetime trip. I'm excited. It's race day, ready to go, and we just got to put it all together now. We're not heading into anything scary. It's big, fat, high pressure, which means we're going to have to work really hard to get anywhere. And any weather that's coming is more than a week away, so anything can happen. Well, welcome to the Royal Yacht Squadron platform to watch the start of what's going to be an epic 1800 mile race. Great combination, Shirley and Dee, because of course Dee's got all the offshore experience, but this is, this is Shirley's game right now. Her job is to get that boat off the start line, get it going fast in the light winds, and then hopefully Dee will be, uh, Dee will be the star room when it's 30 knots and 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> line is clear. Five, five, four. All clear, like clear. The adventure has commenced, it's a beautiful day, light winds, it's going to be a lot of effort to get out the Solent. Three hours in uh, and we've got breeze, so it feels good to be kind of stretching our legs and, and making progress. All good.
sunset day one. It's been a, an emotional day and it's been a great day of sailing. We're feeling fresh, we're enjoying it. Can't wait for more. It's been a good day. Conditions, more wind than we anticipated. We're only 80 miles from the corner of England. So uh, I feel progress is being made. In terms of mileage, we're a quarter of the way round and it's day five. So uh, yeah, <laughs> the maths aren't good, it's going to be a long one. There's a lot of this race left to play.